it's all about the riff segment here on the Mel Matt Show. Snake Six, you done it, boy. Band actually played at the end of January on stage. It was absolutely phenomenal. You had members from Addictive, Bros Tattoo, just to name a couple. The crowd was going crazy. I love every bit of it. Playing some Aussie classics, just, just keeping it real for the scene. Now my personal highlight of the night was getting up on stage with about 16 members from about 14 different bands and singing We Can't Be Beaten by Rose Tattoo. That was crazy. Jumping on the mic, just going fucking crazy, as I usually do. So, it was fucking great. I loved it. One of my favorite gigs. Snake's been working pretty hard every weekend, getting this done, you know, he's had Jamie from Damage in the studio, he's had Zoran from Kill Razor in the studio, and even Adam from Alchemist has been doing some studio work with Snake himself, so, yeah, it's been going really good, it's been going on. <laughs> One of the tracks recorded here on the Rift album itself is The Throne Emperor from the amazing Healthy Frost. With that, we've got Jamie from Damage on vocals teaming up with Adam from Alchemist doing just a chill fucking battle, fucking vocal fucking shit, man. It is crazy. Then we've got Steve Priestley from uh, Healthy Frost playing drums for that. So it's actually an all-star lineup when you look at it. It's one of the heaviest tracks ever written and they're making it even more heavier. Mel Matt on the Mel Matt Show for the making of It's All About the Riff. We've got Zoran who's playing on uh, Celtic Frost uh, the Front Emperor. That's right, man. How you going, I'm doing all right, man. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah it's been a while. Yeah. Well, you're playing on the heaviest track on the album. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was, it was like a bonus. It's supposed to be another song, but then. Was other things popped up and I'm like, yeah, it's cool. I'll just stick to this road. Yeah. As a bonus, I'm like, yeah, it's all cool. I'm like, I'm just go down to A, make them brutal. Like, yeah, why not? Like Frost, the big influence on your life? Um, yeah, well, they've been around for a long time. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they started off obviously being heavy, you know, into the change, and then I don't know if it was sort of drifted away. But then I actually did see him in uh, 2006 at Wacken, and it was yeah. like, wow, this is. Awesome. So uh, let's talk about some bands that you're that you're in the moment. You're working on some projects at this present time. Sorry. Yeah, stretch myself big time. Yeah. Um, obviously, Divine Electric, um, with Kill Razor, with, um, and now recently joined the Salter. Mm -hmm. So those sort of three things keep me busy. Yeah. Um, Divine was just usually uh, write, play, play some shows, do some video mm -hmm. recording, some probably studio recording, some of the other track. Uh, Kill Razor, the new drummer. Yep. Uh, I'm just going to get him ready. Uh, with Assault, we did a short tour in Australia last year. And this year, we off to Europe. Yeah. So, on, on the top of Kill, of Kill Razor, are you, are you guys working on any new material at the moment? Uh, there's new material just floating around, but mainly we're just waiting to find the right drummer. We actually found a drummer, and he's, yeah. a, he's a really awesome drummer, an absolute machine. He's yeah. very, very right. powerful. And very, we're all very happy with him. But um, before the Christmas break, everyone's had things to do. So we just like, you know, let's just relax, take it easy, and just when he's ready, when we're all ready, we we'll just get in there, and get started. And we'll it. Is there any advice that you give to aspiring musicians that I guess want to follow the same footsteps as you're on? Uh, you've been playing bass for quite a number of years now. Yeah, a long so, time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, a long time. Um, advice: Look, if you want to play, play. If you don't, don't waste your time. Yeah. It's got to come from the heart. Yeah. And uh, if it doesn't, it shows. That's that's what I can say. But I've been playing for years. I've never stopped. And I don't know when I'll stop, man. I have no idea. Yeah. Just, just keep going, man. You know, I enjoy. It. That's why I play in three bands because um, 
I find it satisfying. Like a mm. rock, like a thrash death metal, not the more traditional thrash we used to do heavy metal. So okay. for me, it's, it's I, I like playing bass. I always want to play music, play in a band, play live, perform. And that's what I do, man. So um, I enjoy it. And, yeah. No worries. This is Zora and he's playing uh, on It's All About The Riff, the album coming out very soon. He's playing on Kilding Frost, uh, The Throne Emperor. Check it out. Now let's check out the video clip for Nice Boys Don't Play Rock and Roll with Jonathan Devoy on vocals and a whole bunch of others. <laughs> 